Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of Bill's Baseball Vlog. This is going to be the YouTube series where I discuss some of the issues, serious issues, the topics going on in Major League Baseball, plus taking a look at the baseball standings. So, let's dive into this first episode and talk about some interesting topics going on in the world of Major League Baseball. Starting off with the Oakland Athletics. This looks like this is going to be a never-ending series with the Athletics. Recently, they purchased land on the Las Vegas Strip, where the Tropicana Hotel used to be. And that's pretty much looking like where the new ballpark will be for the Athletics when they move to Las Vegas. Uh, it's a sad situation, what's going on in Oakland. They've had this club for over 50 years they've loved this team and it's just between the ownership and the ownership and the town trying to get everything together and it's not working out oakland is going to lose this club and las vegas is going to be the ones who are going to be the benefactors of the athletics getting to vegas being uh you know the new home of the of the athletics um, a couple things though, <clears throat> obviously the new ballpark will not be finished by the time the Athletics get there. They uh, are going to be playing at their AAA affiliate in Las Vegas for a few years until the ballpark is complete. And then once it is complete, it's going to seat 30,000 people. And I hope it's an indoor ballpark because my God, if they played outdoors and, you know, they have a 120, 130 degree day. I don't think anyone's going to really survive staying at, a, at an athletics ball game in Las Vegas. Although I think it's kind of hard to survive staying at an athletics game in Oakland right now, but that's another story. The New York Yankees and Toronto Blue Jays have been having a very interesting series this week. Monday night, uh, Aaron Judge, as we all know, was taking a look at his dugout when he was at bat at the top of the eighth right before he hit a home run in a game that the Yankees were already going to win. He just made the situation even worse. And the pitcher admitted um, the other day that he was like, I might have tipped the pitch. I, you know, the, the, I might have let them know by accident on the pitch. And then Tuesday night, uh, your main, the pitcher for the Yankees, got ejected with uh, some substance on his hands with one umpire saying it was the stickiest hands he's ever touched in his life, which is probably not the best thing to say, but I get where he's coming from. And a lot of accusations between both teams and then Judge hitting another home run last night to win the game for the Yankees. This series, I think, between the both of them is going to be the most interesting one to watch just the rest of the way in the regular season. It's going to be must-watch TV. What's gonna ha what bizarre things gonna happen next? What weird accusations are gonna come out, you know, from these games between these two? It's just gonna be very interesting to watch, especially in a division that is so competitive, so good in the AL East, which I'll talk about in a couple of minutes. But it's just gonna be a fun, you know, series to watch when these two teams play the rest of the way. And then especially if they both make the playoffs, which right now, if the season were to end, they both would be in the playoffs. It just would be a fun, fascinating playoff series to watch between both teams. So uh, it's going to be something we're going to keep our eye on, the, or at least I'll keep my eye on, the rest of the regular season between the Yankees and the Blue Jays. And the final topic I want to discuss, which is kind of a fun topic, is uh, promotion nights. Of course, the Phillies and the Blue Jays, they've had dollar dog nights. Of course, the Philly fans, you know, they really know how to use their dollar when they throw the hot dogs onto the ballpark field, but that's another story. The Bowie Bay Sox, the AA affiliate of the Baltimore Orioles, are having a special promotion tomorrow night where if you are wearing any Washington Commanders gear, you get ten dollars that's all you have to pay for your ticket and if your name happens to be josh or harris you get a ticket for free this is on celebration of the washington commanders getting new ownership which is led by josh harris so go to the, uh, go to the booby bay socks tomorrow night if you're in the area if you're wearing commander's gear it's ten dollars for your ticket if your name happens to be josh or harris you get in for free 
How wonderful is that? All right, going to end uh, talking about the baseball standings, and the American League East is where I'm going to start, and it is the best division in baseball, bar none. Might even be the best division in professional sports today. Um, Tampa's on top with a 32-11 and record, best record in all of baseball. Four and a half game lead on the Orioles, seven and a half on both Toronto and the Yankees, and Boston is in last place, nine back, but all five of those teams are over 500. In the American League Central, the Minnesota Twins are in first place with a 24 and 20 record. They have a three and a half game lead on both Cleveland and Detroit, an eight and a half game lead on the White Sox, and an 11 game lead on the Kansas City Royals. And in the American League West, the Texas Rangers are 26 and 16. They have a three game lead on the Houston Astros, four and a half on the Angels, five on Seattle, and 17 games ahead of the worst team in baseball, the Oakland Athletics, who just recently won their 10th game of the season. Now to the National League, started in National League East. The Atlanta Braves are leading in that division with a 26 and 16 record. They have a five game lead on the Miami Marlins, six on Philadelphia, six and a half on the Mets, and eight on the Washington Nationals. In the National League Central, the Milwaukee Brewers are on top of that division with a 24 and 18 record. They have a one and a half game lead on the Pittsburgh Pirates, five on the Cubs, five and a half on Cincinnati, and seven and a half on St. Louis. Surprised that they are at the bottom of that division. And in the National League West, the Dodgers are in first place with a 28 and 16 record. Three and a half game lead on Arizona, seven and a half ahead of San Diego, eight ahead of the San Francisco Giants, and nine games ahead of the Colorado Rockies. Well, that's going to do it for this first edition of Bill's Baseball Vlog. Tell me what you think. Did you like it? Did you didn't? Did you not like it? It's fine if you don't. Uh, just tell me what you guys would change or add to this video or to this show vlog because I want to make it better for you and for me and so everyone can watch um, so I appreciate your comments if you leave them in the comment section below thank you all for watching this first video of Bill's baseball vlog and I'll talk to you all next time